Welcome back to Crazy Days Career. I'm Laura, and we're opening up the February Apothecary at Home box. This will be my last box for a while because I have paused my subscription. Um, not because I'm not liking it, it's just I've let them pile up, and I think I need to work through them before I keep getting more. Um, but this is the February Apothecary at Home box. Let's open it up and see what we got. Ah, February is the month for Valentine's Day, so we are doing Happy Home. Okay, I may need to rethink the whole uh, 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 pausing it because March's is botanical beauty. Hmm. Learn how herbs can be used to revitalize hair, skin, and nails. We'll have fun making natural products for beauty and hygiene. See you there, gorgeous. <sighs> Gotta think about this. Hmm. Anyway, don't worry about tomorrow. Let's focus on what we've got right here. So right here, we have herbs for a happy heart. One of the things I like about this box, it is not just a throw it at you, here it is, do do as we say. Uh, it is an education. Um, and always they want to caution you to talk to your doctor. Uh, they're, they're not doctors, so if you have any questions, you talk to your doctor. I've already talked to my neurologist, and she's given me the go-ahead. Just watch out for magnesium. Um the kit you are unboxing was hand picked by or hand packed by real human beings. Blah blah blah. Ooh, herb of the month is yarrow. We're getting hawthorn, motherwort, seeds for planting, uh, maceration jars, dropper bottles, straining bags, botanical illustrations. I do like those. I'm thinking about putting them into a uh, scrapbook, and then trying to fill in the scrapbook with what they do and what the contraindications are, when to use, when not to use. You get, uh, oh, pink sea salt chocolates. I bet that's this right here. Ooh, unroasted dark chocolate. All right, we'll have to put those aside. We'll have to get those a, a try in a little bit. Um, heart anatomy sticker. Okay, there we go. I can put that into my scrapbook as well. Oh, and we have some tags. Uh, blood pressure tea by The Loose Leaf. I like this. It is organic lemongrass, organic ginkgo, organic hibiscus, organic ginger, organic hawthorn. No caffeine. Hmm, tea with a purpose. So, looseleafblends.com out of California. Tea with a purpose. I like that. You're not just, you know, sucking down a Dr. Pepper or a sugar-laden soda. You've got, you're drinking something that hopefully tastes good and has a reason and it is beneficial. So we have white yarrow seeds. It says there's a hundred. They are tiny. I don't know if you can see those. Uh, oh, compostable cornstarch-based peanuts. I like that. So these are all e economically friendly. So we have got dropper in our straining bags, which after almost two years, I probably have a bunch of these. More dropper, come in handy, that will be good. Might even have to use some of these for my essential oil box, Simply Earth, link will be down below. Maceration jars, let's see, I have Health disclaimer. Uh, yarrow, apothecary at home herb of the month. I have some yarrow. And we have hawthorn, whole berries, and motherwort. This is a bonus herb. 
So again, I have a lot of studying and learning to do. Um, but I'm excited about that. At least then, you know, I feel like I'm doing something. I, I like to crochet while I'm watching TV. And, by the way, guys, I'm having such a blast. We're watching things like Heart to Heart and Remington Steel. Um, I found Riptide uh, on one of our channels. Um, we do not do cable, per se, but we've got a... Uh, uh, we do have Prime. And then we've got... Uh, I don't know, the TV offers some other channels and things, so... Uh, no cost. Prime, uh, we do, but we do a lot of Amazon shopping, so it saves us a bunch in shipping. Um, but I like to crochet while I'm doing that. Trying to get busy, trying not to stagnate. Uh, I have seen that happen, and um, I just don't want that. You know? Part of the reason why I'm trying to do this... I used to thrive in school. I loved school. I did well in school. I could read something. I had a memory like nobody's business. Yeah, well, not anymore. Um, the brain fog, the confusion. The <sighs> yes, I did have COVID. Um, and not me on my backside. It was not fun. Um... Sure, it's a little bit of memory loss, you know, trying to, oh, I can't remember this all of a sudden, and it's stuff I knew just 10 seconds ago. Uh, I know, we've all been there. Um, and, but, you know, I can't help but feel like some of this is from all the preservatives and things that we're getting in our foods. So the more natural we can go, the better, the more natural on our teas and on our herbs, things to add into our food. Um, let's make our, our eating and drinking um, not just taste good, but be good for us. Um, you know, like, uh, you know, garlic is good. Turmeric is good. You know, there's, there are certain things that are really good for you, and I try to add in. Um, and instead of using dried onions, well, I try to use fresh, or I dry my own. That way, there's no other, you know, additives. Um, Thrive Life is really good because it's it's uh, freeze dried, and all of their product it's um, amazingly the you know if you look at the box of strawberries, the ingredients are strawberries. I mentioned that. So those are all things that we're trying to do, um, trying to grow our food, uh, trying to raise our food. Um, less preservatives more natural as much as we can one it's better for you and two it costs less and three if it's growing in my backyard i don't have to worry about the store having a shortage um people are freaking out over egg prices i can have eggs every night and they're good farm fresh eggs if you have them you'll never go back to store-bought uh, and we just bought more chickens, so we're going to be having more eggs available. Um, lettuce, I, mean, I might have an issue with. Because obviously there is nothing growing right now on the ground. But that is our February box. And like I said, I'm going to have to really think about the March box. Maybe we'll keep it for another month. Um... I am really enjoying the boxes that I'm getting. I'm getting the Simply Earth Essential Oils. I'm getting a So What box. Very happy with that box. I'm very happy with the Apothecary at Home box. I really believe I'm getting my money's worth. And I'm getting, there's a lot of education. Um, so be sure to check out those links below. We also have a store on Amazon so you can find some things. Uh, at, 98% of the time, they're items that we have bought, we have seen, we have read, we have used, and I don't have a problem recommending them. And Apothecary at Home, I don't have a problem recommending it. Uh, if you are interested in going a little bit more natural, this is just another step in having a toxin-free home, a toxin-free life. Um, and I'm not thinking I'm going to go 100% toxin-free, but if I can go eliminate as much as I can 
slowly, a little bit at a time. Inch by inch is a cinch. Yard by yard is very hard. So we're going to kind of slow down and study and learn. And we're going to take you on the trip with us. So I hope you're ready for a fun learning adventure. I bought the carry at home. February box. There we go. Be watching for us to put some of this together. Taste testing. Um, trying some of this. Uh, seeing what we can come up with. And I believe that the herbalism and the essential oil is all going to work together. And complement each other. So this ought to be... Um, just a really good complimentary mix of information. I hope you've been inspired. I hope I haven't scared anybody off yet. Um, hey, if you're having a bad day, be sure to check out the bunnies over at Crazy D Ranch and Rabbitry. Um, I call the Rabbitry my, my bunny therapy. It's my happy place. And we do have some babies. Um, it's part of the reason why we do this. We love the babies. And, and I love the bunnies. They're, they're, they're relying on you. And you have this little little animal with those big eyes and sweet faces. Um, no, they're not all sweet and lovable. Um, they can get temperamental. Uh, they can stomp their feet. We actually had one of our rabbits have a hissy fit and she turned her back on us. I'm not kidding. She stomped her foot went to the back of the cage and turned her back and would not turn around. Not even when we fed her. She was she was angry with us. Isn't that great? They have emotion. They have feelings and then they recognize. And but she, but she never tried to bite. Next day though, she was rubbing noses and and being lovey. Um but uh they're they're like kids. You know? Um and I tell my kids, even anger, anger is a good, healthy emotion. It's what you do with it. If you hit, bite, throw things, destroy things, you're not handling it well. Then it's unhealthy. So Chloe handled it beautifully. She stomped her foot, turned around, and just wanted her space. She didn't bite. She didn't scratch. She didn't attack. She just needed a few minutes. And then all was well. Um, any emotion is good. Dep even sadness. You, can, you have a right to be sad. It's what you do with it. It's how you handle it. Um, so, oh, lecture's over. Sorry, guys. I was saying goodbye, and I got distracted. Uh, or as my kids used to say when they were little, destructed. I always liked that. Uh, they were, they were destructed. Um, boy, were they destructive. <laughs> anyway, um, just remember life is good and you only have one so let's enjoy it don't waste it have fun be safe be healthy and most importantly don't forget to come back right here to Crazy Dave's Crew we'll see you next time thanks for watching